so hello everyone i am here in uh, glasgow scotland now still searching for my hotel for one almost i think one hour actually bus dropped me almost uh, two and a half kilometers away from my stop so i'm uh, walking uh, back sorry it's more cold and raining here as compared to London so here is a view there's a raining here and uh, the water is falling on the camera as well From London to here it took me almost uh, 8 to 9 hours and I rode the bus in the yesterday night 11 o'clock and they dropped me here at the main bus stop around uh, uh, 7.30 or 8 a.m. So I believe around 8. So after that I checked with the uh, at the station so what bus is nearby my is going nearby my uh, hostel. So I rode the bus, it was near to Botanic Garden. So unfortunately when I sat in the bus, there is no uh, station so uh, showing where like the next station is what or no information giving you and the driver also did not inform. So some other tourists also lost the station, they also went ahead of the, their main station. So in which case I'm still walking here and see the view here. These are the houses here. So organized and clean. Looks like a palace. I was not expecting that much cold here when I checked the weather yesterday it was looking like uh, around 9 to 10 but it's really even in London also it was uh, raining but here it's too much cold it's really freezing here My shoes less open. There's a raining here and uh, the water is falling on the camera as well. From London to here it took me almost uh, 8 to 9 hours and I rode the bus in the yesterday night 11 o'clock and they dropped me here at the main bus stop around uh, uh, 7.30 or 8 a.m. So I believe around 8. So after that I checked with the uh, at the station. So what bus is nearby my is going nearby my uh, hostel. So I rode the bus. It was near to Botanic Garden. So unfortunately when I sat in the bus there is no uh, station so uh, showing where like the next station is what or no information giving you and the driver also did not inform so some other tourists also lost the station they also went ahead of the their main station so in which case I'm still walking here and see the view here These are the houses here, so organized and clean, looks like a palace.
I was not expecting that much cold here when I checked the weather mm. yesterday it was looking like uh, around 9 to 10 but it's really even in London also it was uh, raining but here it's too much cold it's really freezing here My shoes list opened. The other side there is a small lake. Soon my hostel. So this is the bus stop here. I supposed to be going that side, and uh, already two far or two stations I had I supposed to be stop. But any which case, I'm still walking. It's raining here. I want to go there in the park, but unfortunately not right now. I have to find my hostel first. It's lost somewhere. Or might not be the hostel last time, the one who lost. See the pigeons here. So this is the cricket ground here, very nice, very green. I'm still walking, it's almost uh, 1.5 kilometers, I still have to walk to reach to the botanic garden and my hostel is nearby there only. Walking is not a big issue for me, a problem. But uh, right now, if I am carrying the bag, my luggage is almost way around 15 to 20 kilo. And this one, the small one, camera, gimbal, bottle, batteries, power bank, all my accessories here, it's around not more or less than 7 to 8 kilo. So when you have like so much luggage carrying and walking almost three to four kilometers it's like a too much weight carrying but that's all that yeah if you want to travel if you want to do the backpacking you need to get ready for this type of incidents see the garbage is full of wines and bottles I hope I will be faster, more faster and reach my hostel. So behind me is the botanic garden. So my hotel also supposed to be nearby here only. Let me double check and uh, see the Google map.
So this is my room here. My bag I was. So one of the guy outside he was uh, looking at me and that and helped me with the maps and guided me to the hotel little bit uh, difficult to find out uh, the maps due to the google maps but anyway i'm here only the room really looks very nice and clean so hi everyone this is my hotel behind me so i already set up and put my things stuff in the in my room the room is really very nice so i haven't eat anything since last night so i'm currently going outside to look for the food it's almost uh, 3:46 and it's already very much uh, dark here so the sun is almost getting set up around uh, 4 or 4:30 in the evening in the early morning also the sun only coming up around 8 or 8:30 the other side there is a some market place so i will be going there to check some food so let's see how is it going to be so this is the garden botanic garden so i have time let me go inside Currently, I am inside the botanic garden, and there are some directions here. So, right now, inside here in the garden, but it's already dark here. the tables you can see behind me for sitting it's in the loving memory of their loved ones who already passed away for example this one so that side is a glass room and visitors let me walk around here so there is some history also given here giant of andes of the botanic garden so there are there are a lot of uh, tables here so the tables are placed here uh, in the loving memory of uh, whoever is lost in their lives and they put the table here for sitting for the people see the view from here here you see the wall actually the garden looks like a very nice it's already dark it looks like more children's garden So inside the garden there is a small garden for the children's where they can learn about the free gardening. See the tree behind me? It's uh, 
really amazing and beautiful see the squirrel so big I haven't seen that much big squirrel Actually, there is a way going down here also in the garden but it seems like a very big garden and I don't want to get lost here somewhere see the squirrel Their squirrel looks like a rabbit. The size of the squirrel is look like a same as big as cat or rabbit they found in Asian countries. See that everywhere have so many tables. They are placed, not the tables, but the chairs. Sorry, placed here. Many sides so the people can sit here. But I believe there is no people sitting in the rain. It's really kind of hard when it is raining and cold to vlog or go outside but I'm still trying my best to look around the place where I'm staying what I have noticed in London also and here in the hotel also the hotel receptionist they don't offer you that much like tours or the guides or the peep or the places nearby where you can visit they don't offer you a lot of stuff even you are asking for help also so they are just guiding you to check online so that's a little bit uh, strange as compared to the Asian countries uh, when we visit or travel within Asian countries they will offer you a light, lot of uh, uh, like tours package even discounted price so yeah still it's a little bit different for me it might be my it might be my first time here that's why it looks a little bit uh, strange to me so you, it's re right now it's almost four o'clock and the sun is really set uh, sunset now and uh, it's getting dark here so it's kind of reminding me when I was in Ukraine and uh, that uh, during the winter it's only everything opens around 10 o'clock and 5 o'clock everything closes so the working hours only between uh, uh, morning 10 a.m. to 5 a.m. Uh, p.m. in the evening only so in a short period of time only you have to like go to the office market school etc <laughs> so I, I will be going back and uh, looking for the shop and the grocery shop nearby so that I can buy some stuff I'm not so sure what is this underground So it's a little bit history given botanic gardens before you are the ventilations for botanic gardens so station plants are passed on the come on man so this is the way out I'm going out my vlogs are shooting with my gopro hero 8 and uh, let me see here oh mini beast birds and trees of the botanica scent tea feed 